It's time now for the Antenna Show. Yeah, we're gonna review the Antop UFO. It's a UFO antenna. Yeah, an omnidirectional antenna. Yeah. What the hell is this? What are you doing here? You're reviewing antennas now? Yeah, everyone's reviewing antennas now. But I'm the antenna man. Good for you, bro. There can't be two antenna mans. I'm the satellite guy, but I also like antennas. Uh, stick to satellites. I got a I got an antenna growing oh, out of no, my head. No, look no, at no. Me. If you look at my YouTube icon, I got an antenna out of my head. <laughs> I know. I got oh, an no, antenna growing out of my How's head. <laughs> All right, I got the Antop UFO back. I took it. Those Americans, they think they have the right to everything and they think they can come to Canada and tell us what to do and what not to do. But I got the antenna back and uh, I'm gonna review it right now. All kidding aside, uh, that was, uh, you probably would recognize that guy as Tyler, the antenna man. Uh, he's got a great channel here on YouTube as well. Uh, uh, just a quick note, if you get uh, do unboxing videos, make sure you cover your address so that uh, no stalkers will come to your house, okay? Gosh, look at this box. Look at how they tape this thing up here. Get your exacto. And we're in. Problems or questions, we can help. Support, all right. Whoop. Here it is. UFO antenna. All right. There it is there. That's the... Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that's interesting. So there's a cable connection on the fr on the top and a cable connection on the bottom. I think maybe it has like a, oh yeah, it has like a, a VHF element that would screw on the top. Okay. So we got this thing here. And I'm pretty sure looking at the picture of this thing, this thing goes, I don't know if you need to attach that or just pushes on and then you oh you have to unscrew that okay i'll get a screwdriver to fit that on there all right what else do we have here the, some paperwork uh, you got your some uh, coax cable for connecting it up um the manual very good read the manual this thing so you can attach the in gotta tighten that so you can attach the antenna onto your roof and uh, don't drill it into your head. This is just a joke, but uh, just attach it to your roof and, and you, or any place where you'd want to attach it and you can. And here is the preamp. That's it there. And this is one of the things, what you, what you do with these, if you don't know, you find like a, a plug in your wall and you fit this in there, right? Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, and you power your antenna uh, with the uh, amplifier. And uh, definitely with these amplifiers, they tend to make the uh, reception a lot better. Here's some wing nut things. These will allow you to either put it to a pole. There we go. Has its uh, warranty, promotional stuff too. You can check that out when you buy one of these things. The parts it comes with is you'll have this part here. Uh, you'll have the manual, the documentation. Uh, you'll have this part here, which is probably for your VHF. And it looks like it has screws, so you have to unscrew here and tighten it up. I'll just double check the manual. Uh, your cable, uh, your power supply, and your um, um, amplifier power supply. And uh, how all these things will work is, uh, it will send uh, the, the uh, you plug it into your house, so is inside your house, uh, when you ha near where you have this uh, connected to your TV or your splitter, and uh, this will run the power up to the amplifier that's inside the antenna. And it does have a, uh, a cell phone uh, interference uh, um, blocker so that it can help, uh, so that your antenna is not over amplifying signals that you don't want.
All right, man. You, a lot of you men might uh, have a wife that doesn't want you to put like a giant 10 foot directional Yagi antenna with a giant tower in your house. And you just want the local channels or whatever. You, 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 you tell your wife, I, I want to put up a giant antenna. And she's like, no, 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 no. So show her one of these uh, end tops. And they're like a little bit less impact. They're not gonna work as well, but these work pretty decently for the size of an antenna that they are. And you, you might have your wife approve of over one of these antennas instead of one of those big antennas, those big directional Yagi antennas, um, which is a huge over the you know, huge uh, setup and your might, wife might just disapprove. So one of these is probably a good one to get, yes. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Stop yelling at me about the big antenna. Stop yelling at me about the 10 foot antenna. I'm gonna put up the uh, this little end top antenna, okay? I'm gonna put up the end top telling. Stop yelling at me, the neighbors are gonna hear us, okay? Stop yelling, the neighbors will hear. Okay, I'm putting this up, okay? I did a little test inside uh, with the uh, UFO antenna. It was not performing as well as the end top big boy. Uh, I was able to get our local VHF channel for in my area and but I wasn't able to get the UHF channel PBS which I was able to get in this location I and I tried moving the antenna around to different locations to see if I could get picture but I wasn't able to get it so uh, it's a smaller antenna so I only really got one channel inside in my basement so we'll take it out and we'll t uh, test it uh, a little bit above the roof So it took me a few uh, few days. Uh, I had to get uh, order a clamp uh, for my pole because it's uh, a skinny pole. <laughs> uh, usually, the uh, when people are using a pipe or a pole to um, attach an antenna, they're probably using a thicker one, especially to get higher height. Uh, when you're, if you're using masting, uh, I'm just using these poles here. They have the little button things to hold like the five foot poles together. So I'm going to stack about three of them. So I'll get about 15 feet. Give this a test to see if we can pull in uh, just as many channels as I did with the Antop Big Boy. This is a great tip if you uh, don't want to get up on your roof. Uh, you may have to get up to your roof with a ladder and uh, uh, secure it to it. But a, a nice tip to do is be able to have your antenna so you can turn it just a little bit because they might be stations in a different direction. Although this antenna is an omnidirectional antenna. But I'm still, when I set it up, I am gonna move it around to put it in the most optimum place so that I can get the most, all, all the channels. Cause sometimes you might wanna move it around and and uh, make sure you got it in the most optimum place. Uh, be safe uh, if you're gonna climb up on your roof. Don't do this during a lightning storm. <laughs> and uh, also make sure you ground your antenna. So an uh, important thing, uh, you can get like, these uh, three foot ground uh, copper ground rods. You can ha hammer in the ground or you might have your, your house's ground and just run a wire to that so that you, uh, if there is a lightning strike, it will ground it safely. Uh, and there's probably other, uh, more information online uh, for safety information on that you should really look up into if you're uh, installing an antenna. But uh, we're gonna, we're gonna go up with this thing here. Uh, so other uses for this as well. And if you don't want an antenna, you could use it as a drum too, right? Hello, beautiful. Hello, Anthony. How much did I save on using an antenna and satellite this month? About 160. Done. I don't have antenna or satellite TV, but cable company, find me money. I got you a dollar. Ooh, you almost had it. You gotta be quicker than that. <laughs> Alright, so I got about three poles here. I got the cable, coax cable, and I've connected it to the connector on the end top. So that's what it's gonna look like. To get it on this pole, I had to get this, this, a couple of these things here and put it on that way to uh, connect it to the pole.
Hey! There's a UFO flying above your house! There's an ant top UFO above your house! There's an ant top UFO above your house! Ah! An alien! Ah! <laughs> Pesky human! <laughs> We've come to rule your planet and take away your resources! <laughs> <laughs> I will let you keep your your pesky little lives and watch your television. <laughs> as long as you bow and you ah. kneel before the UFO operator guy. <laughs> and first, you have to do the truffle shuffle. Come on, do it. Come on, do it. Okay. okay. Uh. Atari. All right, so you just uh, connect the cable up to the amplifier. This is very important and key to having your antenna working. And also make sure you take this plug and make sure it's plugged in to your adapter. Plugged in, you'll have a little light to indicate that it's on. make it any any trickier spot to get at back this guy in here all right and your amplifier should be plugged into the TV like that and it should be green if you hit the switch it'll be yellow that means the amplifier is not amplified but actually a nice thing about this is you may be over amplifying so you could try it with both settings but probably your best bet, most likely, will be the green light. And then you uh, go to your TV set, and these buttons here, if you don't have the remote, sometimes they're at the back of the TV. You go into your menu, and you do a channel scan. Now, I've done a video separately uh, on all the uh, on how to do a uh, channel scan uh, with an antenna. I'll have a link to that in the description of this video. So I did a comparison of the different antennas. The Antop Big Boy outperformed the UFO, but the UFO still was able to pick up channels. And one thing else I'd like to state is that Antop did send me this 360 antenna along with other antennas that I have from Antop. Uh, this is, they did not pay me to do this video, but they did provide the antennas for me to review and test to give them a fair review. Full disclosure, I guess this is a, uh, what they would call a sponsored video because of that. So I tried it out on the HD home run and channel 8 came in pretty decently, which is channel 7, but not as good as the uh, big boy. All these channels didn't come in as, as good as the big boy. And some channels I had to move the uh, Antop big boy around just to optimize the position of the antenna to lock on, but you'll have to do that with every antenna. And one point I did find out in doing this, even though it's an omnidirectional antenna, I did have to move it to different positions. On channel UHF channel 26, I got about almost 100%, but I about 69% uh, signal quality. On channel 50 or 31 UHF, I got about 50% signal quality and signal strength was about 79, 80%. But I did move the antenna around a little bit to try to optimize the signal to get the best possible uh, reception on that and one thing that disappointed me uh, about this antenna I wasn't able to get the uh, WNBC or the NBC affiliate out of Watertown New York which I was able to get with the end top big boy and channel 14 which has Fox 68 which is on 68.1 but the uh, actual channel is channel 14 it also has uh, my TV and dabble and uh, they scan in as channel 43.1 And VLC does not work as well as it used to in Linux with the HD Home Run for whatever reason. So please, if you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up. I'd like to hear from you in your in the comments what you think of this antenna. This is not this is a sponsored video, but I'd like to hear your input on it. And and Antop would like to hear your input about these antennas as well. So um, feel free to uh, leave a comment uh, and uh, in, the, in the in the bottom of this video. And um, let us know if you've tried different antennas, what worked for you. Uh, we'd love to hear that.